Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Senza. So I'm out here with some of the dogs. I've got I've got Kimchi over here. Um, she's keeping an keeping an eye out on these bigger dogs because she's out with some bigger dogs. I've got um, Berlin and his father Mad Mortigan, and then his mother Nirvana out here right now. So. Um, Berlin is going to be going home tomorrow morning. He's got a new home. He's going to be um, going to Colorado. I've also got Preacher out. Um, and uh, he um, is going to be uh, in a great home. Very excited about it. So wanted to uh, have him in this video. So um, I did want to talk a little bit about... Um, my video yesterday about Jeremy and I don't really want to go like too far into it. I think the, the vast majority of the responses were positive. Um, but there was some people that were kind of concerned. Uh, there were two, two main concerns. One was that <clears throat> this, that I shouldn't have said anything about it on YouTube. And the other one was basically people that wanted, um, his side of the story. Um, and what I could tell you is that on the first one, as far as, um, putting it on YouTube, I asked Jeremy when he got here, whether or not he wanted to be on the channel. I did let him know that introducing him, that I would need to talk about some things to give some context as to, you know, obviously where my son came from and he was fine with it. And I did tell him like, if you're going to be on, then you're going to be on. And so there, you know, like that's just kind of the way it is. Like, and if you've never been in my situation where you have a public life, then it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to understand. And you're going to have judgments as to what you would do when your life is not my life and you, you don't have the same situation. And so what you would do is going to be perfectly fine for your life, but it's not my life. And so it's a very different thing. And I'll give you an example of that. Um, you know, whenever my dogs got parvo, you know, I would have much preferred to not say anything about it, like a normal breeder. You know, I had a good friend of mine who also got parvo at the exact same time, and she didn't say a word. Nobody knows she had parvo, and it's because she's not on YouTube, you know what I mean? So there's no reason for her to say anything. Most breeders won't say anything. Um, and so, and it would have been much to my benefit to not have to say anything, um, but... I'm on YouTube. It would have been impossible for me to just randomly been like, oh, the, you know, just dogs are gone and that's it and whatever. Um, Nirvana, you be gentle with that baby. And, um, and the same thing with my son. He's on here. I had him on. If I just would have just never filmed him again and it, it, you know what I mean? People and people have a tendency to think the worst. And so I would much rather tell you the truth about what happened than for have people hypothesizing about what might've happened and then assuming the absolute worst. And the worst thing I've seen on, on social media is that not only will people assume the worst, but then whatever they assume, they just go with, they just believe and it, and it becomes truth, which is really messed up. And so, um, and so anyway, so I was not going to have that happen. I was going to come out and say um, what happened. Um, also, I have nothing to gain from it. There's no benefit to me to having to admit that my son took off with one of my dogs. You know what I mean? Um, granted, once again, I did give him the dog, but not under those circumstances. So uh, I know that there are people that see it that way, but I don't. I would never give a dog to somebody that doesn't have a job, that doesn't have their own place to stay. It's irresponsible. And um, ultimately, there's no way that it's going to work out. And so I never would have done that. And he knew that. And um, I let him know that. And he has me blocked. I offered to buy the dog back. And he's not responding. I even had somebody that he did not have blocked contact him and offer him the money for the dog. And he blocked them too and ignored them. Um... I think it's possible that there are some substance abuse issues going on. I don't know that for sure. Ah, ah preacher. Um, but I think it's highly possible. Um, uh, as for the people who wanted his side of the story, um, I think that's pretty ridiculous. But then again, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, um, if you know, as far as I'm concerned, actions speak louder than words. Most people feel that way. 
Um, most people have seen the room that I built for him as far as like all the stuff that we bought for him. Um, they've seen me trying to teach him and giving him a dog. Like, you know, um, if that's not enough to show my intention and the fact that he took off with the dog in the middle of the night, didn't say anything to anybody and stole a bag. Like, you know what I mean? For me, that speaks for itself, but I'm sure that for some people, uh, particularly people that don't want to believe the best about me, you know, maybe for them, um, that that's a problem. I, I am going to be honest. I really don't care whether you believe me or not. Uh, if you don't believe me, then obviously you're really not a fan. So I'm not really even sure why you're watching. Um, but it is what it is. Um, but, uh, it's, you know, for me, it's embarrassing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I bring my son on my channel and I talk about him and it's this fantastic thing. And then boom, he's gone. Like it's not a, it's not a, it's not a fun thing to have to admit. It's not a, a fun thing to have to experience. I, um, I woke up this morning. Ah, ah, ah. Um, I woke up this morning kind of, it's the worst thing that the first night after it's like you wake up and you still like your brain hasn't really caught up yet. And so when I woke up in my mind, he was still here and then obviously he wasn't and it hit me again all over again and luckily I have Reese to talk to and she's basically been babysitting me all day on the phone because I don't even really want to like be alone in my silence right now um but it is what it is um you know it's I think it's really important to know that I don't really know my son um it's not my choice I've wanted to know him. I've tried to be in his life. And he has a very toxic grandmother who has basically fed him lies about me his whole life. And um, he just believed really bad things about me. And so every time that I would try to get in his life again, and he would start to come see me, and she would start to see that he was liking me and becoming attached, um, you know, it, it would end, is all I could tell you. It would end. Like, she would make sure that it would end. She would turn him against me, and it was a problem, and there was a lot of anger, and that's why I told you guys when I was going through my forgiveness thing that my mother was an area that I was really struggling with with forgiveness, because it's not just that she abandoned me. Um, she stole my son from me and then turned him against me, and, and, um, and that has been a very difficult thing to deal with. Um... And I will say that, am I mad at my son? Yeah, but more sad, disappointed than anything, I think. Um, I see it as a huge waste of potential. He's a very intelligent kid, and he had, I think a lot of people said that they saw that he was kind and sweet, and I think there is a side of him that is that. But I think there's also a side of him that is extremely angry and dangerous and could absolutely throw his life away in a heartbeat. And he's going to have to choose which side he wants to be. Um, I'll tell you that I was very similar. Uh, when I was younger, I got this tattoo. It's a heart with angel wings. There's one angel, uh, an angel wing and a devil wing. And the reason I got it was actually a cover up. <laughs> but the reason I got that cover up was because I had to remind myself that um, we have to choose to be good. You know what I mean? We have to choose to be good. Within each of us lies evil and, and, and lies good. And we each have to choose which we're going to take. Some of us were raised in such a way that we never get in touch with that, the potential for evil in us, but I was not. And I was very much raised um, very similar to the way that Jeremy was raised, other than the fact that I was institutionalized and he wasn't. And he was allowed to kind of run free and be kind of like a feral child. And I was, you know, basically in child prison. Um, and so, but we both kind of like um, had a lot of anger issues. And so there's a, there's a lot of similarities there. And, and I recognize that. I see it. But um, I've, already, I've already walked down that path and I've already made my decision. Nirvana, get your butt back over here now. Out. Let's go. Now. Get back over here. And um, now, back it up. She's in here. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Let's go, now. Good girl. So, um, 
I'm well aware of where he's at in his life. I've been there. I've done that. And it's, um, and it's just going to be up to him. He's either going to choose, um, to make better decisions or he's not. And that's just all get it. Preachers. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get that horse fly. Get it. Get preachers. Get it. Get boy. Get it. Preacher. What is that? You see it. Do you see it? Preacher. Do you see that horse fly? Right here. Get it. Get it. Preacher. Get it. Get it, boy. You just get it, boy. Get it. Get it, my Mortigan. Get it, my Mortigan. Get it. Get it, my Mortigan. Good boy. You just get it, boy. Oh, shoot. It's coming for me. <laughs> Nirvana, don't beat up your son. Skeet it, preacher. Get it, boy. Skeet it, preacher. Skeet it. Skeet it, preacher. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. Get it, Nirvana. Skeet it, preacher. Get it, boy. You skeet it. You get it. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. He says, don't, don't let it get me. <sighs> so anyway, um, I'm a little bit more practical. It's not that I don't love him, but I do understand that there's love can't fix this. Love can't save somebody from themselves. Um, all I can do is pray, which is what I've been doing. We've all been praying and hope that maybe, oh God, preacher, get it. Get it, preacher. It's on you, preacher. Skeet it. Skeet it. Um, all I can do, it's following them. Golly, man, that is a horrible fly. It's really coming for him. Skeet it, preacher. Um, all I can do is hope that he chooses, um, that he chooses a better life for himself. So, um, anyway, that's all there is to it. I don't know what else to say about the ordeal. Um, it's sad, but... It is what it is. Um, I'm not trying to punish him or anything like that. Believe me, if I wanted to do that, there's a whole lot more I could say. Um, and I'm not going to. But I have to say, I have to address the issue. I'm a public person. I have a public life. And I have to address the issue. And if other people are mad about that, I don't know what to tell you. There are a lot of people that benefit from my channel that learn from my experience, uh, there's a lot of like, if, if nobody was ever honest about that stuff and kept it private, then other people who are going through it have to suffer alone and have to like try to figure it out on their own. And I know that me personally, I can't tell you how many times that I've benefited from knowing that other people have gone through similar things that I have and basically realizing that I'm not like, I used to think that I was just messed up or that I just had this horrible life or blah, blah, blah. And I didn't realize how many other people shared that same experience or had gone through similar things or whatever. And so I feel that, uh, my channel is meant to help people. And, and so while other people may wish that I keep everything private into myself, it's not your life. You're more than welcome to do with your life as you choose, but this is my life. And, um, and I'm going to have faith that, that this is what I'm meant to do, to testimony, um, to testify for others and to my experience and, uh, and hopefully other people can grow and gain from it too. So funny girl. So anyway, so I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I hope y'all are having a good day and I'll talk at you guys later. Bye.